And so it came to me while I was reading Stoic philosophy, and there was a really great quote from a book from Epictetus, you know, his teachings anyways, and it said, control what you can, cope with what you can't, and concentrate on what counts. And I loved how that could be applied to the three parts of the day, so we can, can really control our mornings, and that's what gets us off to a start of a perfect day. And then we cope with what we can't control, which is all the chaos in the afternoons, and we have systems in place for overcoming that. And then we do all of that work and put all that structure into place so that we can concentrate on what counts at night, which is our family and our health and our hobbies. And that's the way that we go morning, noon, and evening to really dial in those perfect days. All right. So in terms of you know, the perfect day formula, uh, you're saying that um, people can improve their life by having more time to spend doing things they love. Absolutely. It's, and it all comes down to having more structure in place so that you have more true freedom in your life. All right. So how do we go about um, getting that structure and how does it all work? Well, you know, it's planning and preparation. That's my first pillar of success. And so we know that we need to start off the day right. And in order to start off the day right, we actually have to start planning the night before. So we script our day. We identify our number one priority. We identify when we're going to work on that. We, you know, schedule in our calls like this one and we make sure that we have an end point for those calls so that they don't go on too long. Same with our meetings and that way we're controlling our time. We're doing the best we can to take ownership of our lives and that way we don't waste time during the day because every minute you spend surfing the internet or reading email that you don't need to steals time from your family. You know, it causes you to work late and you miss out on dinner or you miss out on your children's sports or recitals. And it's because you don't have structure in place during the day. So you need to get dialed in during the day so you can have that true freedom at night. All right. And um, true freedom at night, I really like that. Spending time with your family is super important. Having just time away um, from, from your business uh, is uh, vital for your, your health and also even the, the health of your, your business too. And, and you, you have this 3C formula. Can you, can you tell us more about that? Right, right. So that's a 3C formula that I, that I mentioned earlier. Control what you can, cope with what you can't, concentrate on what counts. And it really worked out well with the three parts of the day. But the most important part is by far controlling your morning. You control what time you get up. You control what you do first thing in the morning. You control those hours. You control what you have for breakfast so you can start off on the good foot or the bad foot. And if you start off on the right foot, you have an amazing day. Okay, so if we're talking about controlling um, you know, the start of the day, your, your morning, what are some of the things that you recommend people should be doing to make sure that um, they start off the day right? Well, the first thing that we should do is we should get up 15 minutes earlier than we normally are now. Now, I know there's a lot of talk about you know, getting up at 5 a.m. and joining this crazy 5 a.m. club, but you don't need to do that. It's not about the time you get up. It's not about the hour that you get up. It's about what you do with the hours that you are up. And so all I ask of people is a 15 minute extra from their day. So if you're getting up at eight o'clock now, get up at 7.45 a.m., go down to your kitchen table, pen and paper, and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna work on your number one priority in life. And when you do that seven days a week, that is over 70 hours of clear, uninterrupted thinking over the course of the year. And that allows you to make big gains in success. It allows you to improve your health. It allows you to improve your relationships Whatever it is you focus on, you will improve. And it all starts with just 15 minutes in the morning. 